Okay, in this short video, we will once again find another way to do a population standard deviation, this time using a shortcut formula and the Alex calculator. Let's take a look at our notes. Now, what we have here is a formula that's different from the formula in the previous video, but it does the same exact job. It calculates a population standard deviation. Now, it looks more complicated, but in fact it isn't, because the two things that we need the most, the sum of x squared and the sum of x, are both buttons on the Alex calculator, and we see those right here, the sum of x and the sum of x squared. So we simply go over here, grab our numbers as we usually do, drag those into the Alex calculator and hit the sum of x button. And what we'll find here is that that sum of x is 95. We'll take a note of that. And then we'll undo so we don't have to re-drag uh, those numbers and simply hit the sum of x squared and that's going to be 2279. Now if we're really lazy what we could do is simply hit store here and not even have to retype that big number. And so we can clear the calculator. Let's go back and look at our formula once again. We'll start putting this in. Notice that's going to be a fraction. On the top of the fraction is a big square root. Inside the square root we have n, the number of items on our list, multiplied by the sum of x squared. Then we're going to subtract the sum of x and then we're simply going to square that number. On the bottom of the fraction we're simply going to have n, the number of numbers. So let's go over here to our Alex calculator and begin to put that in. First of all we're going to have our big square root. Now inside the square root we're going to have n, which in this case is 5, because there's 5 numbers on our list. We're going to multiply that times the sum of x squared, and you may recall I stored that, so simply recall that, I don't have to retype it. Now we're going to subtract the sum of x we said was uh, 95, so we can go in there and just put 95 squared and the whole numerator is done. Highlight the entire numerator and divide that by n, which is 5, the number of items on the list, and that'll quickly calculate your population standard deviation. And of course here they want this to two decimal places, so 9.74 should give us what we want. 9.74, and let's check it. This is quite a bit easier than doing it uh, the way that Alex does.